We'll go ahead and put this on pause because I don't know how long until they get on out here. Have a good one. Alright, so we're going to pause this out. Alright, so we got the PD, or actually the Sheriff's Department, pulling on up. There they are. Check the body cam. Oh. All right, just put the body, turn the body camera back on. He's cruising down. Probably waiting for some backup. Don't need any backup, it's just a camera. Car 141 <laughs> I'm not looking for no one They might as well not stand in the rain Yeah How's it going? Hi, how are you? It's raining. There it is. <laughs> hey, let me find out what's going on. Hey. I just pretend I'll be that fun. Hold it sideways. It's a way your thing is going to be out of the zoom the most. So we had a whole bunch of people educated at the uh, county courthouse polling zone. And uh, now we're going to educate a few other ones, like they're pointing. It's hooked up to her Bluetooth. You know, you would honestly think that they would, like, call the different precincts and be like, hey, there's two guys coming around, one wearing a yellow jacket, they're video recording, they're harmless, they've already been here, there's nothing we can do. Yep. So, See, she's got no window tent. Nope, no window tent at all. Probably 141. Yeah. So she'll come on out here and she'll either know what's going on or... Alright, no problem. Hey. Well. What's going on? I'm trying to stay out of the rain for right yeah. now. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to figure out what's going on exactly as far as you being able to record out here. So I got a supervisor that's coming. Cool. Okay. What's his name? Sergeant Sailor Collins. 
All right. What's your name? My name's Tony. Hi, Tony. What's your name? Santa. What's your badge number? 141. 141? Mm -hmm. Matches your car number, huh? It does. That's a coincidence? Not really. No? Is that the way it is? Well, if it's assigned to me, that would be my number. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't see you just walked out to the car, but I mean, most uh, people's car numbers is a match up to their... Sometimes. Does it? I don't know, but I know mine does. Huh. I'm going to have to request that and find out. That's good info. So what, are, so what are you guys filming here? I'm just trying to catch uh, people coming and doing their thing, not talking to nobody. Okay. It's raining though, so we're kind of stuck underneath this at the time being. Okay. Alright. Were you guys at the old, like, the old courthouse earlier? I don't know. No? Oh, I don't know. Veterans. I'm at the veteran civilian over here. Stand for. It was nice, and then it started raining again. As soon as the lightning, it started coming down again. Yeah, it's been a crazy. Looks like it's starting to flood in certain areas. I did note, actually, I noticed that this morning in a couple of areas there was some water building up. You know, I, I really have to blame it kind of on the road department, whether or not it's county or it's city, um, because those places of flooding are known places, right? They've been there forever. You know about them, I know about them, people that drive those roads know about them. Yet they don't do anything about them except for complain about them when they do flood out. Hey, you have to watch out or the road's unpassable or whatever. Get out there and do something about it. I mean, that's how you make the, the area better is by improvements that are needed, right? So, I mean, if you know of areas that flood, get better drainage. Redo the grade, you know, something. How long do you guys plan on being out here? We were we got we got caught in the rain. To be honest with you, <laughs> I came in here, I did my thing, and but before I can leave, it started pouring. So. Ah, we're just polling today, so we're just kind of catching out some news, some of what's going on with the polling, and then we got caught out in the rain. The one guy showed up, and I don't know, I guess he got to get ladies a little hysterical. Well, they're all separate cameras, all catching separate footage. Yeah. All in 1080p, though, so. <laughs> Harris, what's your badge number? My badge number? Where's your
No. No. This friend. Hmm? Who is the friend in there? Ah. The one, uh, who is Jack? Yeah. I don't think we have Longhorn Steakhouse. Man, that sounds good. I kind of like uh, Texas Roadhouse better, though. Yeah, like, than Longhorn. Yeah, I, I like the rolls better, the steak seems to be better. You remember back when you used to go like put peanuts on the floor and stuff like that? Yeah. I think that's like all you know, pre-COVID though. I don't know if they'll start that back up or not. Yeah. And then some places I think stopped doing it. You got your body cam rolling? Mm-hmm. Was it rolling when you went in there originally? Got a what? Was it rolling when you went in there originally? Yeah. I'm a little deaf and hard of seeing, so. You have to be 100 feet from anything. You can't photograph people voting. You can try to photograph people. Did you just go by what they said, or did you actually look up the statute? Well, that statute, you can't take pictures of people. Did you look up the statute? Because I could tell you that that's not what that statute says. Who would you, the 100 foot there for a reason? Yeah, that's only if you're trying to get electoral votes. You can't tell people who to vote for within 100 feet. So I could go over there and I could sign, uh, hold up a sign that says vote for this person, but I can't stand here and say do it. Nor can I, oh, yeah, you can. Uh-huh. Yeah, you can take <laughs> Good luck.
Take advantage of a little dryness. So one forty one. So this guy right here, we've seen this vehicle before. I believe that uh, East High School one day when I was doing it, and we got that. Blue line on his car. And, uh, we have the, uh, this is called 159. Supervisor coming out. Let's see if I have him take that off his car. And then this is the guy that pulled up earlier. The same one that when I was taking photos, told me not to. And here is a uh, supervisor, vehicle 122. Can't get you for invasion of privacy. No, they can't. You violate my rights, you try it. Evasion of privacy in public. Looking whack. That's all he got. He sat in there all that time. He sat in there looking up the laws and stuff, and that's all he got was evasion of privacy. In a public area. I'm gonna take a video of this guy over here. This should be the supervisor. What's up, man? Not a whole lot. You? It's raining. I was trying to stay dry. So, like, what's the purpose of wearing one mask if you've got, like, eight of them all stacked on top of each other? And then they're... And then they're just thrown in there. Yep. So I think he's on. He's legal on that. See if we can see what's on that screen. Let's see what the call was. Uh, I can't see it with the rain and the glare. No. Come on now.
view. Hey, just in case they try anything stupid. So at least you can get back in the trout. Look, he's got a piece of paper in his hand. I don't know if y'all can see that. Piece of paper in his hand. And he's on the phone. It either says it on the paper in black and right or white or it doesn't or the person on the phone should know exactly what it is and have to manipulate or baby around the law is the law it's written out it's plain it's right there If you read it with the mind of not wanting to interpret it, then you're going to misinterpret it. If you actually read it for the verbiage, the way it's written, you'll catch it and you'll understand.
Starting to rain again. Got shaking in there, man. That paper is almost getting ready to fly away. Flipping it over, looking upside down. Look at that paper flopping. They ain't got shit. S. Collins, C. O. L. L. I. N. S. So now it's the question between does the Morristown Police Department do a more thorough and better job at finding out the law or do they or and is the sheriff's department just going to blunder it all up try to find whatever they could possibly find just to hinder me up You know the Morristown PD, they, they did their hardest, darnest time trying to get figure it all out. He even admitted he went through everything, couldn't find nothing. I mean, I don't know who he's talking to, but man, if he's not on the phone with his wife or something and she's telling him that the dog died, they're giving him information he is not wanting to hear because his facial expressions. Are not all cheery. He may still try something, not saying that he ain't going to try something. Whatever he's reading is turned it out from Hamlin County. This one's on the phone trying. She just told him move. I got him on my body camera.
this one over here might even be recording with his phone. We'll have to ask and find out. Been recording for almost 48 minutes plus the time I went in there to take some still shots been here for at least 50 minutes <coughs> would have been gone already there's been one person here in 50 minutes to vote. Ah. <sighs>
Now I feel like they're just trying to waste my time. Sorry, it's taking so long. I need to try to figure out on that editing program how to uh, like fast forward through these areas. I just ain't got time to really do any kind of editing or anything. That's the problem. Trying to point that body cam at me.
Oh, looks like we finally got someone to show up to vote. I ain't even got nowhere to park. Up in the front, oh, the handicap, so they get the handicap spot, the one that's available. Am I being detained? Am I free to go? What are we doing here? I mean, I, I, I got a complaint though. You can go if you want to go. Yeah, no shit. All right, I'm gonna pause this, let this guy come in here and do his voting. All right, so we just had two people walk in there to vote. Um, so now that makes three people that have came here to vote in the past hour. And I'm not sure how many people came out prior to that. But they're still on the phones and over there. The Lady Santa came out, she, Deputy Santa. I asked her if I was free to go and she said I was which obviously means I'm also free to stay, but I want them to come out here and tell me what they found. And then I want to make the complaint of um, that blue line flag on patrol car 159. That deputy has been a little ass himself. So now they're talking. The guy that works here that pulled up in that truck right there. They got a little three-way, four-way powwow going on. I think he's explaining it to him. He's holding his head now. I think the guy just got a headache. Here they come. Here they come. This is for you. Oh, I don't want that. It's no. a letter saying that you cannot be here. Sure I can. No, I'm not taking no unlawful letter. There is a code on this letter for you. Nope. And you can read it. If you do not no. leave, you will be cited. Okay. And if you want to continue, you will go to jail for disorderly okay. conduct because you're refusing a lawful order. I'm not a voter. This is the same crap PD tried over there. and They do a better job than this, man. I'm not a voter. Take this shit if back. If you do not leave, we will give you a citation. Give me my citations, okay. Collins. You, you are violating my rights. No, we're not violating. Yes, I'm telling you now. Don't you dare put your finger there. You go to disorderly conduct. I'm, I'm disorderly my asshole. Okay, listen, Collins. No, you're not you're above me. me. No, I'm not listening to At you. At this time, you're yep. placed under arrest for disorderly hey, conduct. Catch this. Catch all this. Hold Don't on. break it. I'm not yep. trying to break hey, it. Hey, catch this. Get it off. Disorderly conduct. This guy, he can't make it up himself. You won't point your finger in an officer? I wasn't pointing at yes, you. Yeah. Well, hey, so I can point at you. My question is. I can point at you. It's like you're recording Yeah, it's free speech. I can point at you. I don't care what you're giving me. Okay, I'll be here.
But you're right. This time yeah, you're right. under arrest. That's disorderly conduct. Hey, make sure you call. Hey, call the law. Hey, you don't. I don't want to advise you. If you do not leave, you will be a citation to you. You can be arrested. Yes, sir. I will. Okay. You want to take his stuff, or does he want it to go with him? I'll take it. Okay. There you go. Can I film for a second? Can you what? Can I film for a second? No. You can go now, or you can be cited for criminal. All right, so I just wanted to add this in there. Um, when I was originally arrested, um, my charge was for disorderly conduct, which is Tennessee Code 39-17-305. Um, and that was my original charge because I pointed my finger at him or towards him. Um, I mean, my elbow was bent. It was never straightened out or nothing like that. So I, I really don't know <clears throat> his perception of it. But that was my original charge was for disorderly conduct. Um, when they when he told me he was arresting me, when they arrested me and when they actually brought me to the jail facility, um, they told the booking officer that I was my charge was disorderly conduct. So, to be charged with disorderly conduct, or to be guilty, I should say, of disorderly conduct, A, a person commits an offense who, in a public place and with the intent to cause public annoyance or alarm, 1, engages in fighting or in violent or threatening behavior, I didn't do that, refuses to obey an official order to disperse issued to maintain public safety in dangerous proximity to a fire hazard or other emergency didn't do that there was no fire or other emergency or creates a hazardous or physical offensive condition by any act that serves no legitimate purpose i didn't do that either i was just standing there taking photography he had stepped up to me real close um, gave me a piece of paper and I will show you the, that paper that they gave me look how crinkled it up and, and stuff hit all this that's how it was in my envelope when I got it um, when they released me um, or B a person also violates this section who makes unreasonable noise that prevents others from carrying on lawful activities so I was doing none of these at all the entire time I was there, I never do any of these. This is not my style. That's not what I'm out for. So this was the original charge. Then after being already locked up for about three hours at the jail. So they had me in handcuffs for a total of um, six hours. Six hours total I was in handcuffs for about... 20 minutes of that while I was actually in the cop car on the way to the jail. They were in the f back of... Oh, no, they were always in the front of me. I'm sorry. No, they were in the back of me when I was originally in the car. And then they put them to the front of me when I got to the jail. Um, so I was there. There was a few other people that were there as well when I walked in. And there was a couple of people that um, came from the courtroom. And, you know... it. It's kind of crazy because you stay in sh locked up, okay, either in your shackles or, in my case, it was the handcuffs until they book you. Could be eight, ten hours. Like I said, it, I was for six hours, so um, it, they keep you for a for a long time. And um, I had handcuffs on, so my hands were binded. Um, a few of the other people had shackles on, but no handcuffs on, so their hands were free for movement. Um, I mean, if they wanted to beat somebody's butt that, uh, you know, or somebody that had their handcuffs on, that that it'd be all, it'd be a bad story. And then there was people that didn't have shackles or handcuffs on while I was in there for my booking. Um, so that was my original charge right here. Then, like I said, about two hours or so after I had already been dropped off in booking, maybe a little bit longer than that, the arresting officer, or at least the one that had, uh, put me in his car and brought me down, um, 
said, oh, well, here's your charges. And the first charge was disorderly conduct. The second charge they said was criminal trespass, which is this one. So let me read criminal trespass. It's A, which is 13 14. I mean, I'm sorry, 39 14 405. And a person commits criminal trespass if the person enters or remains on property or any portion of a property without the consent of the owner. Consent may be inferred in the case of the property that is used for commercial activity available to the general public or in case of an other property when the owner has communicated the owner's intent that the pro property is open to the general public. Okay, so that voting it was open to the general public i'm allowed to be there so criminal trespass right here i didn't violate a and then it goes on to say it is the defense of the prosecution under this section that a person entered or remained on property that the person reasonably believed to the to be property for which the owner's consent to enter had been granted which is what it is, it's public property, so public is about allowed to be there, so uh, there's no reason that a person is not allowed to enter. Two, the person's conduct did not substantially, in, substantially interfere with the owner's use of the property, and the person immediately left the property upon request. So, I was there, and they were on, the officers were on the phone for I don't know how long, um, one of the officers finally came out. You see that in the video. Um, and I asked her, I said, am I being detained or am I free to go? And she says, well, you're free to go. Um, so I wanted them to finish on up because I had a complaint in regards to a decal that's on, um, the officer's vehicle. And, um, when he came out, they went ahead and handed me this paper. So this paper is my third charge, which is persons allowed in polling places. This is what they charged me with, 2-7-103. And I'm going to go ahead and read this to you. Um, this is the same letter head or let ordinance that uh, was read to me impartial at the Hamblin County polling center at the county jail or county courthouse that I went to just prior to this and he was trying to read um, part B which says any voter using a electronic uh, a mobile electronic or communication device is allowed in subsection uh, a shall be prohibited from using the device for telephone conversations, recording, or taking photographs or videos while inside the polling place. And I agree. It says any voter. I'm not a voter. So that puts us down to where they said my violation is. 2-7-103, persons allowed in polling place. A, no person may be admitted to a polling place while the procedures required by this chapter are being carried out except election officials, voters, persons properly assisting voters, the press, it's right there, the press, poll watchers appointed under 2-7-104 and others bearing written authorization from county election commissions. So right there, in writing, right in front of their face, they, you can't miss it. It's not misspelled. It's not category wrong or whatever. It says the press. Okay? The press is me. I'm the press. I get information out to the mass. Um, even though I'm a small guy just getting started, legally, in legal terms, I am the media, the press, and I'm protected by the Constitution of the United States of America to be the press and anyone with a camera can be press so that is my charge right there and, and it says it right out plain and simple that I'm allowed to be there and Jeff the administrator of elections at the county courthouse 
poll. You got to watch that video as well. Um, he admitted when I, I went in there to take my still shots inside. So nothing was running. So I have no audio or nothing like that. And then he came up to me and he says, hey, you can't be in here taking pictures. I said, yeah. I said, I can take pictures. I'm part of the media. He says, no, you can't take any pictures. You're not part of uh, the Tribune. I said, so I have to be part of the Tribune in order to take pictures. He says, yeah. I said, so you're trying to violate my rights. And so I went ahead and I, I turned the, the video back on running so that I could catch that um, interaction of him trying to get that. Otherwise, it's just hearsay back and forth. So um, that's when I turned it back on and, and, and you could see it. And I made sure to have him reiterate that I had to have a press pass. I had to be from a large group. He said um, the, the Citizens Tribune. Um, so that's in his mind, that is what the press is. So there it is right there. And then I became aware today, um, in regards to B over here, I'm just gonna mention this real fast and I'm going to, that'll be a different video. We got to get some information, but candidates may be present after the polls close, which means not while the polls are open. And Bob Garrett was at the Hamlin County, um, East high school. And opening up the doors for voters going in, he, um, I've got word that he even said, you know, have, you know, open up the door, welcome, you know, I guess they said something along the lines of please vote for me or something along them lines. I, I haven't got 100% details, that's why it's going to be in another video, but there's another violation right there and I've been made aware of a couple of others. So instead of him dealing with this violation, which was occurring at the exact same time that he was at harassing me in Jefferson County, I mean, in, uh, um, Cherokee park. Um, and, uh, so he should have been doing his job, not trying to harass me. So that's my three charges right there. One, two, and three. None of them have any standing, any bearing, any anything. Any DA that truly looks at this should drop the case if they have any moral respect for the justice system at all. You'll see how rough the officer was with me. Um, I simply pointed at him. That guy jumped, grabbed my arm, ripped it around the backside of me, threw me up against the wall. Um, I almost dropped my camera. I, I caught it just as the uh, other officer was grabbing it um, and it tightly put them handcuffs on me, pushed me on over to the vehicle. And, and then my legs were spread and I was pushed up against the vehicle with his arm shoved against my back. And he was trying to kick my legs even further spread apart, even though they were already like two and a half feet apart. Um, I, I mean, I, I was wearing jeans. They really aren't going to go too much further than that. Um, and uh, all that. And I'm not even sure if he patted me down. I mean, I know he didn't read me my Miranda rights, um, but they didn't question me at all. They didn't even give me a, a chance to present any type of information or anything. They just automatically, I was guilty. Um, and you'll see, you see how long he stayed on, on the phone for. They, they didn't have anything on me, okay? This is all the crap that they had to come up with after the fact right here, right? There's nothing. You can read it for your own eyes. The lawyers are going to chew this up. This is ridiculous. And imagine if that video camera wasn't there and that officer was there. Man, pff, I don't know. I'm going to actually have to do a little research and look into, um, I mean, he's the um, the sergeant. Uh, the guy that grabbed my arm and twi flipped me around, twisted me, and um, had an attitude. That was the a sergeant. So he's in command. So... Um, I just wanted to add this towards the end so that you all knew what was up, um, so that you didn't wait. Thanks for watching. Um, subscribe. Share this video. Got to get this type of information out to people. Um, there's a lot, a lot of, in Hamblin County, the justice system is corrupt. I'm going to tell you that much right now, and um, watch my videos. It, it, we're 
getting it boiled down. Um, the information's already been passed along. So, um, wheels are in motion. I'm gathering my evidence piece by piece, and you're joining me. And I'm going to post this all. It's all going to be available for you to see. Um, anything the attorney says, uh, you know, I shouldn't post or whatever down the line. Um, you know, we'll go from there. But as of right now, this is what's up.